Yeah, in today's video I'm going to show you how to uh, configure Amiberry on uh, RetroPie. So this is uh, RetroPie on my uh, SBC, which, which is a Raspberry Pi 4. So I installed uh, Amiberry on my RetroPie. So if you did that already, if you then you could just proceed here and do it. If you haven't, then I have a tutorial on how you can um, basically install Amiberry on a RetroPie. So, and the video for that would be in the far right corner. So look, I'm going to start. So I'm just going to configure. I'm not going to run any games or programs. Just go to Start Amiberry right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure a machine and I'm going to mount a hard drive to this. So let's begin. So the machine I want to emulate is a Amiga 1200. And I want to set the floppy drives. I want all four floppy drives set up. I want to set the floppy drive to turbo which is the fastest speed. And I want to configure the monitor or the display to full screen. You could set the resolution to whatever you want but the higher the resolution the slower um, the emulator is going to be, so I'm going to set it to 1024 by 768 and for centering I'm going to click on vertical as well and I want to mount, let's see if I've done everything so far audio I'm just going to leave it, this is just fine as it is um, you could enable floppy disk sound if you want but by default it's not enabled So I want to go to hard drive next and install my hard drive image of Workbench 3.1 on this SBC. So um, I have a, a tutorial video on how you can install Workbench 3.1 on a hard drive image. And the video for that will be in the top right corner. You could find that there or in the video descriptions so um, I'm gonna start so what I did was I I put the hard drive image in a USB flash drive and I'm gonna access that and mount it here so you just go to add hard file here DH0 is the first hard drive so that's the boot hard drive so I'm gonna go here just click on the double periods just keep doing that until you get to media go to USB 0 so if you have more than one flash drive in here it could be it could be USB 1, 2, 3 or whatever but for me I only have one flash drive so it's USB 0 where I put my hard drive image was in the Amiga emulator folder so this is the one that has the hard with operating system in it okay so I'm gonna add another because I have a secondary hard drive and that's DH1 go back to media again okay so now I want to go into configurations and save this so I don't have to do this every single time I'm gonna call it Amiga 1200 HDD you could name it whatever you want press tab to go under there Amiga 1200 HDD and what I want to do now is I just want to save this I want to make sure the machine is correct. So 
Amiga 1200, okay, configuration. I just want to save it now. And the way you start it is you just click on it, double click on it, and you should be able to start it. And as you can see, uh, Workbench 3.1 is loaded on it. This is hard drive run. I could uh, go in here and access everything I need. So let's see, HD, it's called DH0, DH1 is hard drive 2. So let's see if I can access it. Yes, I can. That's it. And let's see, go back to DH0, that's the first hard drive. And that's everything on there. Okay. So it does work. And I want to show you another thing. So I'm going to quit Workbench. Press F12. Just make sure a keyboard is connected to, the, to your uh, Raspberry Pi. So um, you could save other types of configuration for games as well if you want. So I'm going to. Okay, now I'll be setting configurations for each game. So I'm going to go to the ROMs folder. That's in home, Pi, Retro Pi, ROMs, Amiga. So I'm gonna select the game. Okay. Go to configuration and save it as um, call it Cabal. Description I'll put Amiga 500 and save that. And then start. Okay, that runs, so let me get out of here. So let's say I quit the emulator. And then I go back and start Abbey Berry again. And let's say I want to start that again. I just start it. It should just run like how it did before. Okay, so I just double click on it. Let me get out of here. Just restart that again. Cabal, double click it. Actually, it's Bomberman. I didn't label it correctly. I'll fix that up right after. Okay, this is running again. Change it to Bomberman. 
have 12. Let me get out of here. So I'll change the name to Bomber Man. We could do that. And save it there. And I'll delete that. See if that works. Okay, it's working again. With this, I could go in here and save states as well. I could go to save state. Go to F12. And load this state. Just like that. So let me get out of here, F12. But this time, I'll make another... I'll make another game. So let me go to quit. Somehow it just locks it to that directory, so we have to redo it again. This time I'll put another game called Cabal. See, that's Amiga 500 again. Go to ROMs folder for the Amiga. Select so Cabal. And I would like to save that also. Okay, now I'll start that. Let's see if that works. And also save a state here as well. So I'm going to save a state, F12. Save state. F12. I could load that again. So let me quit. See if that works again. This time I'll start Cabal. We have saved states here from last time. I could just load that. Okay, that works. That's how you uh, set up games for uh, game configuration. Sorry. So that's it. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching.